this video is about the difference between sum, total, and window sum. I've received a few questions about this in some of my tutorials. Why do I use total sometimes? What is the difference between sum and window sum? What is the difference between sum and total? And when do you use one over the other? So let's start with the basics. Sum is what we call an aggregation. An aggregation simply means we are grouping and summarizing things. And with sum, you're adding all of the numbers in that group. Measures in Tableau are aggregated by default. For example, in here, if I drag sales, put that on text, what you'll see in the canvas is not just sales. What you're seeing in here is the sum of sales. Sum is the default aggregation, but we can change the default if we need to. So for example, if you right click on sales, default properties, and in here, you can change the default aggregation. If average, minimum, or maximum is more appropriate, you can definitely make that adjustment. So now in our canvas, we have a single number. But what makes up this number? If we select this result, we can look at the underlying data. Let's view the data right now. Here you see two tabs. There is summary. This one just repeats that number. We also have a full data tab. This shows us all of the underlying records that make up that one number. Let's increase the number of rows that are being shown. And from here, we can see that this 2.3 million is made up of 10,194 individual numbers. We added all of those numbers up. So this 2.3 million right now is our grand total, or this is our grand sum. Now the definition of aggregation in Tableau by default will change once we drag dimensions over. For example, when I drag over category, we lose the grand total, and this sum now pertains to the subtotal. There are three values in category, therefore you're getting a subtotal per category value. If you work in relational databases, and if you're familiar with SQL, this would be equivalent to a group by clause. So now at this point, we actually don't have our grand total. What if we wanted to have our grand total back? One way to do this is to use the analytics tab. So in the sidebar, right beside the data tab, you have an analytics tab. And from here, you are going to find totals. So we can still use this to add our totals. Let's double click that. The challenge with this approach though, is this simply displays the total, but we can't use this value elsewhere. We can't use this in other calculations or we can't display this anywhere else. We also cannot do sum of sums. So for example, in here, if I create a calculated field and if I type in sum and pass in the value of sum, I am going to get a syntax error. Tableau will not recognize a sum of sum. And this is where window sum and total come in. Both of these are table calculation functions. They both work with numbers that are already aggregated. So technically, this is an aggregation of an aggregation. Table calculations are also called second pass aggregations. So let's try this out. Let me create a calculated field first called sum of sales, sum of sales. And this simply has this sum of sales. Let's click OK and let's just display this. Let's create another calculated field that uses window sum. So on the drop down, create calculated field. And in here, let's expand the function list. Let's take a look at our table calculations. And as you scroll down, you're going to see a number of functions that start with window. Window sum is right here. And window sum is a table calculation that adds up all the aggregated numbers that we pass into it. Let's call our calculated field window sum. And in here, we're simply going to use it window underscore sum. Let's pass in our sum of sales. And we know that this is a second pass calculation because if we click on the sum of sales, we know this is already a sum and we're passing that to another sum. Let's click OK and let's display this. So sales and sum of sales, these are technically the same. I just wanted to create a field out of that original sum of sales. And our window sum is essentially the same total that we've displayed before. The only difference is now you have another field that you can use elsewhere should you need to. Now, this is where window sum and total are different. Window sum is always going to be a sum of another aggregation. If the original aggregation is a min or a minimum, window sum will still add all of those numbers. A total, on the other hand, will always follow the original aggregation. So if the original aggregation is a minimum, it will get the minimum of the minimum. If the original aggregation is a maximum, it will get the maximum of the maximum. So let's show total first. So in here, another calculated field. Let's use total. So total, and let's pass in our sum of sales. Let's click OK and display. 
So what do we have? Right now, window sum and total, they're exactly the same. However, they're going to start becoming different if we change the original aggregation. Let's demonstrate this first from the out of the box sum of sales. When I change the aggregation of this measure, so on the drop down, under measure, let's say I use minimum. So in here, what happens is in each of these subgroups, furniture, office supplies, and technology, it looks at the smallest value. So the smallest value, we have $2, $0, and then $1. This is already your minimum. But out of all of these minimums, the new grand total actually gets the minimum among those three minimums. Now let's take a look at how window sum and total will react. Let's change our original sum of sales. Let's edit this one. I'm going to change this instead of sum. It's going to be a minimum. And once we click apply, we should be able to see the difference. Window sum adds up all of these minimum numbers. The total is the one that's most similar to the out of the box grand total. It is now the minimum of the minimums. So from these three numbers, 1.8, 0.44 and 0.99. 0 0.44 is your minimum number. And by the way, the only reason we're getting slightly different numbers is because of the precision of the numbers. If we add up our precision, so in this minimum sales, let's format and let's add decimal places. Now we're going to see that this result is the same. However, window sum will have added up all of these and it's giving us a different result. As a final note, just a reminder, table calculations will be affected by many factors, including the layout, the filter, the scope, and the direction. So for example, under total, if we change our scope or direction, it will affect the number that it displays. For example, in here, on the dropdown, compute using, if we specify cell, then all of a sudden we have slightly different results. And that's it for this quick tip. I hope you found this helpful.